An orthopedic surgeon at Lewis Gale Medical Center in Salem has worked in the field for over 20 years, but at a point in her career, something changed. Tonight, 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich is working for you to show how she wanted to take her talents to other parts of the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Dr. Robin Hawkinson is explaining to me what she does on an everyday basis. And you can kind of see how the implant works. The orthopedic surgeon performs knee replacements all the time. And she is one of only a few women in the country doing so. When you look at orthopedic surgery, about 6% of practicing orthopedic surgeons are women. So we're a distinct minority um, in our field. Back in 2006, Hawkinson met with four other female orthopedic surgeons. And what would come out of that meeting would change the world, literally. At least if you live in America, you have a chance. The group created the Women Orthopedist Global Outreach a nonprofit performing full knee replacement surgeries in the developing world for free. You don't have a chance ever unless somebody like me goes there and brings this kind of surgery. So that's what my colleagues and I do. Hawkinson and her colleagues have worked missions in five countries, including inside former NBA star Dikembe Mutombo's hospital in the Republic of Congo. And their most recent trip was to Guatemala, completing the job and even more. We did 40 knee replacements, and these were um, some very, very happy people. We went to an elementary school, and we spent two complete days there and got new shoes for all of the kids who were in this school. Missions like these you think would take a ton of time, not for this group. It's all within a week. It's all within a week. We do all of this within a week. Changing the world while changing themselves. We are changed as much, if not more, as the people that we go to, to help. In Salem, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you. The nonprofit group hopes to go back to the Republic of Congo for another mission. They're also always looking for volunteers to help on future trips.